What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of 100 Proof Emma. I'm your host Emma and today I'm going to be making a delicious passion fruit spritz. I chose to use some organic vodka. I'm actually going to be using ocean vodka it's from Hawaii. I'm going to be using some chinola passion fruit liqueur. I made some vanilla bean simple syrup. Of course a little bit of passion fruit, some lime, and I'm going to try Dezo spiked coconut water. It's actually gluten free vodka in a can. I'm gonna see how it works and if I am magically transported back on the beach where I belong. So follow along and let me know what you think in the comments below. So half an ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of vanilla bean simple syrup in your shaker. One full ounce of passion fruit liqueur. I'm using Chinola. I'm also scooping half of a passion fruit in here. I went to four stores looking for passion fruit um, and I'm so glad I found it. Apparently you can buy it frozen these days. I didn't want to do it frozen, I wanted it fresh. Okay, love, love, love this beautiful display of the ocean vodka. It's just really freaking heavy. So I always have to be really careful whenever I pour. <sighs> okay, so let's try out my passion fruit spritz. Even my dog just said she loved it. Uh, it's phenomenal. There's no other words for it. I know it looks just like a mimosa in here. The vanilla bean on top is really cool to look at. Um, you can see like the little specks of vanilla bean simple syrup. Passion fruit tastes so good. I feel like I'm on a tropical island in Belize. I'm just gonna finish this low key. I mean, there's no other words for it. It's kind of like you're on a resort in Malibu. Uh, great, all right, well, nothing else to say. I know exactly how I feel. So to another episode of 100 Proof Emma, whether virtually or in person, cheers to you. Pardon me. If a mimosa and a passion fruit had a baby, this is exactly what it would taste like, minus the oche.